the attitude of reciting Al-Quran. In order to get more blessings when we recite Al-Quran, we need to pay attention to the following attitudes in reciting Al-Quran. Firstly, it is recommended to purify from hadas, wear polite clothes, and clean teeth before reciting Al-Quran. I do not like to mention the name of Allah unless it is on holy stage. Hadith narrated by Ahmad and Abu Daud. Secondly, it is recommended to face the Qibla. The most noble sitting position is the one facing the Qibla hadith narrated by Tabrani. Thirdly, read Ta'awud when we start reciting Al-Quran. When you recite Al-Quran, you should ask protection to Allah from the cursed shaitan. Quran Surah An-Nahl verse 98. Fourthly, we should concentrate and meditate on what we recite. Why don't they contemplate the meaning of Al-Quran or have their hearts locked? In Surah Muhammad verse 24. Fifthly, concentrate on what we receive. In the Quran, Surah An-Anfal verse 2. <speaking in Hebrew> Sixthly, it's permissible to recite Al-Quran while standing on a vehicle or lie down. The Quran Surah Al-Imran verse 191. الَّذِينَ يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ قِيَامًا وَقُعُودًا وَعَلَى جُنُوبِهِمْ وَيَتَفَكَّرُونَ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Seventhly, recite correctly in clear and good voice. Al-Muzammil, verse 4. أَوْزِدْ عَلَيْهِ وَرَدْ Eighthly, do not recite aloud so as not to disturb people who are praying or sleeping. The person who prays in munajat with his God, so pay attention to the reciting he used for merit and do not compete with one another to harden the recitation. The hadith narrated by Malik. Ninthly, it is forbidden to complete reciting Al-Quran for less than three days. People who recite Al-Quran for less than three days will not be able to understand the verse. Tenthly, perform sujud tilawah when we are passing the sajadah verse. My face prostrates to the God who created me and gave my hearing and sight with his power and effort. Hadith narrated by Nasai and Abu Daud.